Who would ever imagine that an expert on change, the psychology of human behavior, leadership development, and sales strategies could be so entertaining, yet still deliver a powerful, thought-provoking presentation that will produce results each and every time? Yet, Connie Podesta delivers all of that and more. If you are looking for the right speaker with the right message at the right time, then you have come to the right place. No matter what crisis we're in, there's things to be learned from it. No matter what we're going through, whether it's economic, whether it's personal, whether it's health, there's things that we can absolutely learn from that. And one of the things to learn right now, if there's any sound bite you're going to take away from me, is business as usual is over. This is a different world. Would you admit that? Business as usual isn't going to be enough ever again for a long time. If you're working for a company and you'd like to keep working for them, you better hope that at least once or twice a week there is an email announcing something new. More than two million people have enjoyed Connie's no-nonsense approach to life and business. Her audience has learned to identify and value the challenges of the world today and leave knowing they can handle anything that comes their way. Two jobs that all of us have to have right now are leadership and sales. Leadership is a choice of how you decide to live your life. Leadership is an active choice to live your life as a role model to other people, realizing that at every given second, people are watching how you talk, how you act, listening to the tone of your voice, watching how you handle stress, crisis, how you communicate with people. So we all need to be in leadership. But number two, we all need to be in sales. Right now, you and I have to sell ourselves. More than any time, any place in the world, you and I are going to have to sell ourselves. We have to sell ourselves as parents who have a legitimate right to raise children and have them be safe and healthy. We have to sell ourselves to our customers. We have to sell ourselves to our clients, our coworkers, our colleagues. We have to sell who we are at every single moment. The great thing about Connie is she has an amazing ability to find humor even when tackling the toughest issues. Your group will have fun while learning more about themselves and others, skills they can then use to be more successful both at work and at home. So how many of you could use a little comedy right now? How many of you are sitting next to someone that could use a little therapy? Oh, you pointed. <laughs> How many of you in this room would admit publicly that you have a few personality traits or behaviors that you try to keep hidden from the public? And you save them for the people at home that you love the most, right? <laughs> we would never treat the people at work the way we do our families. No, we wouldn't even have a job if we were to do that. Employee complaint number one, honey, you won't believe how hard we work. Work, work, work. My company expects that I work from the moment I walk into the building <laughs> until the moment I leave. <laughs> Duh. That's why they call it. Do you understand that the number one employee complaint is that people are forcing us, get this, to work on the job? Employee complaint number two, Connie, three of us are doing the work of four. Have any of you ever heard that one? Are you jealous of the fourth one? The fourth one doesn't have a job. And here's employee complaint number three, Connie, work just isn't fun. It's just not fun. I know. That's why they pay you money. Because they knew you wouldn't like it. How many of you in here text? How many of you don't text? Any of you don't text? Shame on you. And I say shame on you because do you understand that people 30 and under, about 90% of their communication is texting? Anyone in here that doesn't text has literally said that you will no longer stay in communication with people 30 and under. And we can't afford to do that. I'm sitting next to what I call Grumpy Harry. I'm texting my husband, telling him I'm going to be late. And he goes, is that that texting stuff? Yeah, stupid. <laughs> I have a grandson, he says, Chad, 14. I said, do you talk to him? No, they left Boston. He lives in Ohio now. You know how kids are. I said, you want to text him? Oh, he's in school. <laughs> no problem. I show him how to do it. 
He texts, Chad, here you won the playoff game. He's a soccer player. Here you won the playoff game. Congratulations, Gramps. He says he's not going to, and before he could finish his sentence, ding, ding. <laughs> he said, who's that? I said, it's probably Chad. You don't have a lot of people in your address book, okay? <laughs> Sure enough, there it is, Gramps. Dude, didn't know you could text. How cool is that? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to stay successful, do not stay out of touch with the number one form of communication with the younger generation. No matter what the topic, Connie always delivers a message about the character, courage, and commitment it takes to move beyond the next level and stand out from the crowd. Lots of stuff is going to happen to us that isn't fair. In fact, character, the essence of a human being, who you really are, is not determined by how you act when life is good. That's a piece of cake. If money is kind of coming in and you're paying the bills and you have a fairly decent job and you have a roof over your head, it's easy to be a decent human being in those situations. Character, who you really are, is determined when life is not going the way you planned it at all. How do you act when you're hurt? How do you act when you're angry? How do you act when you're jealous? Those behaviors is the true essence of who you are. What if, as leaders, managers, and parents, what if instead of trying to make everybody happy, what if we focused on three other things? What if we focused on creating a generation of young people, students, employees, children, that were number one respectful? Respectful of how they talk to other people, respectful of themselves, their own health, their own personality, their own pride, and respectful of others. Number two, what if we focused on making them very hard workers? Not apologizing for giving them work, but saying work is hard. We're going to be working from the time we get in until the time we leave. No apology for it. This is work, and you may not always like it. And number three, what if we really focused on creating a group of employees, students, and children that were compassionate? that not every decision is about us. Sometimes the decisions are going to be based because they're good for the entire community, they're good for the entire school, or they're good for the, the whole group. Maybe even if that moment, they're not particularly the best for us. Award-winning speaker, author, licensed professional counselor, actress, comedian, business owner, and entrepreneur. Connie has the experience, credentials, and insight to understand your audience at every level, no matter their culture, background, gender, or generation. Sometimes I talk to audiences that are half of my age, and I always say to them, you know what's interesting, ladies and gentlemen, no matter how old you are, whether you're half my age or my age, it never changes. No matter how old you are inside, we all want to do the same things. I still am thinking about a new TV show. I'm writing a new book. I, I want to travel all around. I, I love being romantic. I love dancing. I love my family. There's nothing, nothing that I want to do at my age in my life that some of you in here that are 25, 30, 35 don't want to do with yours. But the difference is this, that in order to get to be 50, 60, or 70 years old and still have the energy and the inclination and the health You've got to start making really good choices in your life when you're 25 and 30 and 35. What you eat, what you drink, what you put into it, the type of relationships that you have in your life, who you choose to be with. Because I'm going to tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. The day that you can answer yes to two questions, are you really proud of your professional choices? And at the end of the day, are you really proud of your personal choices? The day you can answer yes to those two questions, there will not be a richer person in the world. Than you. So there you have it, the total package, substance, style, and results. You can rest assured that from the moment Connie walks on stage until the final applause, you and your audience are guaranteed the right speaker with the right message at the right time. It just doesn't get any better than that. <laughs>